Good morning, folks. This is the U.S. aerosol map, mostly from the Colorado wildfires, but you see Colorado is not feeling the worst pollutants. Quite the Romanian day. Have an unusual tremor and kick their leader out of office. Severe weather in Russia is a bit different, but no less dangerous. We had a medium-sized quake in northern New Zealand. The islands between Japan and Russia saw another. In a flurry of animal deaths, thousands of fish from Delaware to Prince Edward Island are washing up. In Northwest Territories, anthrax killed more than 100 bison, and the polar quakes continue, this one closer to Antarctica. They took down these massive readings briefly yesterday, then put them back up. It's another mystery. Clearly, we're all still alive, but clearly something happened. Having a look at the solar wind, the yellow is the speed jumping up and down around 500 kilometers per second, which is too fast to be nothing. The orange is the density and there is no continuity. Together, these suggest that many little CMEs are hitting Earth. Don't forget, we've had a ton of M flares. We're up to 26 now, actually. Most of them have pumped out bits of ejecta, enough so that around 1700 yesterday, the solar wind began breaking through our magnetosphere. That's the red spike. You can see the sudden onset of particle bombardment in our electrojet here on Ovation Prime. It actually caused a brief geomagnetic storm, but then, just as our shields were down, boom! An X-class solar flare cooked our highest protective layers and made a visibly unimpressive but scientifically significant impact. And even though the Earth footprint is not updated, I believe it was connected to that sunspot because we developed a radiation storm almost immediately. We're still in it now. Couldn't be worse? I wish. We have more CMEs on the way. The big ones. And while we wait, this little lady has officially joined the party. And as you can tell, she'll be fun for the next week or so. Last but not least, you know Venus and Jupiter are getting easier and easier to see every morning. And if you wait about a week, they'll have some company up there for a few days before the new moon. That's the news, everyone. Be safe.